today I want to talk about adding a promotional pop-up to your website. So if you are offering a discount on a product and you want to highlight that, or if you want to encourage somebody to sign up for your email newsletter, this is how you do that. So I'm here in my Sway template and no matter what website you're on, you'll go into marketing and marketing tools. And here you'll see the option for a promotional pop-up. Now, there is a really plain version here to join the email list, but let's just walk through the different options that you have here. First of all, don't forget to toggle this on when you're finished and hit save. As we're working on it, we'll leave it off, but when it's all ready to go, toggle it on and then hit save so it actually shows up. The first thing that you can do is you can change the layout for this pop-up. So I'll just hit select here and you can see the different options. So if you want a an image to the left, an image on top, so this is going to be better for images that are portrait. This will be better for images that are in landscape orientation. Or you can put uh, an image behind the whole thing. You can, uh, here's another layout with a couple of buttons for you. So this is if you wanted to uh, send people to a product that's on sale or a page that has some sale items. Here's some other options. You could have it appear in the bottom right along the bottom bar of your website. Uh, you could cover the whole screen, which is super annoying, but it works. Uh, and another option for covering the whole screen with an image on the left. So you can decide which of these works for you. I am going to choose this to send people to a specific page on the website. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Let's go back and now um, again I want to go ahead and save this again. Save. And now I'm going to go to action and uh, it's already toggled this over for me because I saved this view to click a button. So here we can um, opt in for uh, one or two buttons here. So let's say we want to uh, get in touch and I'm going to send people to my contact page. Um, there we go. Save. And then uh, it will, whoops, let's remove this guy and it will remove the other button. So I just want this one. Uh, but you see we still have the boilerplate text and there is no image in the back. So let's save this. Back up into our styling here. Let's go to content next. And this is where you would put your headline for the pop-up. So 50% uh, off today. And save 50% on all my services today only. And we could also put a little, I'm going to hold down shift and return to add a little line break there. Let's save that, go back. And next up, let's look at display and timing. We can choose to show this on only certain pages of our website or any first page. I'm going to leave it as any first page, but if you choose only certain pages, this is where you select them. And for timing, you can opt to show this on a timer and scroll or one or the other. I think these default settings are fine for me. Frequency, I'm going to show this again um, the next day. And if you are doing this as a newsletter sign up, you can select to not show it again after somebody has signed up. And you can choose to show it on mobile or not, and the styling there is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and hit save and go back. Next, we'll add our image. So I'm going to search my images here to find a good background for uh, this pop-up. And I like this one, let's add it here. Beautiful. And I'm going to actually edit this a little bit uh, so that it's a little darker. So I want to make this darker. 
Actually, I'm going to decrease the contrast and decrease the brightness so that those white, that white text really pops. There we go. All right, nice. So we have some differentiation there. Uh, next up, this is where we put our styles in. So I'm going to change the font of the headline to match my website, which is Minerva Modern. And you know what? This is weird because not all the fonts that are on your website are here. So you may just have to choose something that works in conjunction with the font that you have on your website. So let's do, I'm going to try Franklin Gothic here. That will work for me for now. Uh, you can adjust, make more adjustments there. If you wanted to change the color, you could. And same for the body font here. I'm just going to increase the weight here so it stands out a little bit. And uh, there is an overlay color. So if you didn't want to take the step that I did to darken the image myself, you can add an overlay color here and just do it here. I like kind of the control that that gave me, but you could certainly do it here as well. Uh, the button layout. Uh, we just have one. We don't have to worry about that, but we can increase the font on the button there. And I'm going to change the color of my button to match. Um, no, I'm going to leave it black. You can change the color of the button if you want to match your branding, but you can also leave it black. If you're doing a newsletter, there are options here for that. Uh, the close button is this little guy, options for that. There are different options for how this comes in. Slide in is good, but you can um, also scale up if you want. I'm going to leave it for slide in. Uh, the overlay design, this gets really crazy. If you want to play around with that, go for it, but I think most people don't need it. And we also talked about if you're showing this on mobile, there are additional styles here, so you can play with those. All right, that was a lot, right? But now we're good to go, and I'm going to turn this on and hit save. So now anytime someone visits my website and they land on the first page, this will pop up. Um, after five seconds or when they've scrolled 25% down the page. All right, I hope you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.